for a shot. A double 12 to take the match. Missed twice at this target. It was as close as that the last two times. He's done it! An absolutely magnificent display from the new crowd favourite, the new hero of the Alexandra Palace. His name is Marohiro Hashimoto of Japan. He'll play Gary Anderson tonight. And what a night it'll be! The flying Scotsman against the Ogre, the great Japanese. Can you hear them? They're already singing his name. Hashimoto of Japan, the new fans' favourite, coming up against the 11th seed in this tournament, just moments away. This is what's happened so far tonight. Andy Hamilton, a 3-0 victory over Dennis Smith. Hashimoto going through 4-2 against Matt Padgett. Mark Dubridge turned on the style, a 3-1 victory over Alex Roy. Simon Whitlock, comfortable, wasn't he? 3-0 over Steve Evans. And this is what they're all talking about. Gary Anderson against Morihiro Hashimoto. And just wait for the reception that he gets. A smile on the face. He can't quite believe what's been going on. Walking in a Hashi Wonderland. Brilliant, brilliant, brilliant. It could only happen at the dance. Let's bring him on stage. Our MC is John McDonald. Yes, welcome back to the action coming to you live from the Alexander Palace. This is the Labrooks.com World Darts Championship brought to you by the Professional Darts Corporation. Ladies and gentlemen, would you please welcome back to the stage from Okiyama, Japan. It's D -d 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 Hashimoto! to meet the flying Scotsman, Gary Anderson. and famed for his first round nerves and the butterflies must be flying around that stomach right now given that this reception that the ogre from Japan Hashimoto has got here quite amazing and they're still singing his name around the alley pally and no one has left the building your common team Rod Harrington and John Gwynn well I've been doing this job a long, long time and I've seen qualifiers come and go, but I'll tell you what, this fella has lit up North London tonight. And I bet Rod Harrington, if we were in Glasgow and it was Phil Taylor or any other Englishman who was going to be playing this Japanese camp, they'd be giving him the same support. Yeah, they certainly will. Would John? I mean, this... He's going to remember this for the rest of his life. They'll take the tapes back, he's on to ask who he's with. 
and they will really remember and this is where they, they set the seeds. First set, first and they'll go, we all want a piece of that. First. And that's, you know, in Game a few on. years' time, we could see one of these up here in the quarterfinal, semi-final, or even the final. Yep, well, they came out for a party tonight, folks. It was slow to get going, but when this fella stepped on the stage earlier tonight and beat the rather unfortunate Derbyshire lad, Matt Padgett, 4-2 in legs to qualify for this match, then the place became suddenly... A different place altogether. It's hard to believe, Rod, that Gary Anderson 55. is actually a very popular dartsman. Well, he is, John, because because of his action. Because the, these players like him and Adrian Lewis, and, you know, and even Lloydie when he's on form, 56. they're so excited on the treble 20, and they're very quick flowing, throwers. They're not slow, so you know it's all action all the time. You don't know what to expect from. They could go 45, they might go 180, 180. So you know. Oh, 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 oh I'm saying that he sticks in a maximum. Well, he hit one earlier tonight. It's his second of the tournament. He's first in this match. And Gary Anderson knows he's in a game. You wouldn't believe it, would you? This man really has taken this place by storm. 48. Gary, you require 109. Oh, he can count as well, John. He was going for a 25 there to leave a shot. But Anderson needs tops for his first leg. 69. Oh, he knows he's going to come back. Three more darts. I mean, Gary has had his plight of going out first round in, in World Championships. He has at Lakeside a few times. And uh, he's another one of those players when he gets over that first round, he gets confident. Yeah. He, you know, you just don't know what they can achieve. 81. Gary, you require Let's 40. be honest. Gary Anderson ought to win Gary this Anderson. game. There's no Second question about it. It's lovely to see the smile on his face. It's nice to see that he's enjoying himself as much as anybody else. He actually was talking to me earlier on. He said his day really has been distorted so much by the uh, weather, his preparation for this match tonight. And I think earlier tonight he was genuinely concerned but he's obviously got it right. One That's Gary Anderson at his best. That's yeah. Gary Anderson, the player we like, despite the booze. I mean, every maximum, every 180 is a brilliant 180, but that was a perfect 180. No, the viewers at home will go, what's he talking about? But the, the, the fluency where the darts were right in the middle of the treble. 97. Yes, the moment that dart was switching from left hand to right, he knew that that was third dart was going to go in. He was that confident. Well, there's no question about it. This crowd are enjoying themselves. And now, they're going back out into the snow afterwards. But I don't think for one moment they could care less right now. It's unbelievable this amount of people have turned up with the weather the way it's been, John. I mean, that just shows you the fans that are in this game. Unbelievable. This is Anderson now. Two, set, two nil up in this first set. He's, right. missed, he's missed a big number. That, and that's, you know, and we can talk about Anderson and, and Lewis and a few other people. And they go and miss big numbers at silly times, you know? Well, having hit the treble 20 to leave 64, I was surprised he went for the 14 anyway, with uh, Ashimoto being on 173, but Thompson is for Gary Anderson for a 13-dart leg. Yes, In lovely darts, that's 2-0 uh, to Anderson. Anderson. He should really leg, be too to classy for the Japanese fella, and already he's beginning to prove his quality, his class. We were saying about in, in, in that previous leg about going for the bullseye. The reason that these players go for the bullseye, where before, you know, you'd have gone a 10 or an 18 or, or gone for the, the 16s on the 64, is because when they're flowing, they're, they're more than confident they're hitting that bullseye. And to them, the bullseye is a double, which it is. 
that they, you know, when we talk about Lewis and we talk about Anderson, they just love taking them bulls eyes out. They love playing to the crowd. Well, some 40 from Anderson puts him in a very strong position. Again, ought to take this set with this leg. But that's a decent ton. Party time. Well, we know where this third's gone, John, don't we? I mean, that's identical to that other 180 hit. Once the first dart is sitting at the top of the treble, and you can see where the way he uses the flights and the stems, he kind of over-pitches the third dart, bounces it into the stems, he knows it's a third one. Here. 100. Well, 122 he wants to wrap this up. He's got 106 average, and uh, he's not messing about. Oh. Absolutely fantastic dart from Anderson. A first set average 107. A smile on his face. Scotland the brave against Japan. We'll be back for more soon, folks.